to Belize to be with us in the uh, independent celebrations. I believe one of the questions you are going to ask is Belize ready for independence? And my answer is yes, it is ready. We have worked very hard for 32 years to build this new nation. We have worked on all levels, the political level, to gain international recognition of our problem which has prevented us up to now to attain independence. On the economic level, we have developed our resources to the point that we can pay our way of the recurrent budget and we contribute a great part, a surplus, to our capital budget. The rest comes from economic development cooperation programs with the United Kingdom, Canada, and the European Development Fund, and loans from the Caribbean Development Bank. And then we have built the spirit of nationality by strengthening our national assembly, our court of laws, our courts of law, and improving, advancing our culture. Bienvenidos, muchas gracias. Yo creo que una pregunta sería si está Belice listo para la independencia. Mi respuesta es si está listo Belice. En todo campo. Campo político, el campo económico, el campo, cult campo cultural. Porque hemos trabajado en estos 32 años para que el mundo reconozca, rec reconociera el problema de Belice, el problema de la disputa anglo-guatemalteca. Hemos desarrollado nuestros recursos hasta el punto que nuestro, hay suficientes ingresos locales, ingresos locales para financiar nuestro presupuesto de funcionamiento y con un superávit para el de capital. Hemos creado una nueva nación con el sentimiento nacional, nuestra asamblea nacional, nuestras cortes de leyes, nuestra cultura. I think you're going to ask me something about the struggle. It has been a long struggle. It started out in three places when we began to internationalize the problem of Belize. It started out in Panama City, when the Security Council met there in 75, and the Tanzanian delegate, Mr. Salim Salim, said, let us internationalize the problem of Belize. It continued at a meeting of foreign ministers of the non-aligned in Georgetown, Guyana, in Lima, Peru. Then the CARICOM took it up, the Caribbean community. And it got become broader, it became broader and broader to the non-aligned, to the United Nations, to the Organization of American States. And we have, by working hard, we've reached that point. Quizá una pregunta es, para algo de nuestra lucha. Comenzó en Panamá, la ciudad de Panamá. Cuando el Consejo de Seguridad de las Naciones Unidas tuvo una conferencia allá y el delegado de Tanzania, señor Salem Salem, dijo que debemos de internacionalizar el problema de Belice. Siguió en unos, unas conferencias en Georgetown, Guyana, en Lima, Perú, de los, no, los ministros de, lo, de, de los no alineados. En la comunidad caribeña llevó adelante la lucha hasta las Naciones Unidas y hasta la Organización de Estados Americanos. Hoy día estamos logrando nuestra meta. 
Yes, we are grateful. We are grateful to many people to having helped us. To all these organizations. And in particular at this time we feel the loss of General Omar Torrijos of Panama. He was the one who broke the support of Latin America for Guatemala's cause. And he was fiercely criticized for it. But he stood as a strong man, as he did with the Panama Canal problem, he stood strong and finally he won over practically all the support of the Latin American countries for the problem of Belize, for the independence of Belize. We regret very much he's not here today, but I believe he is with us in spirit as he's, he has only gone ahead, ahead of us to eternity. A quienes debemos la ayuda de nuestra lucha a varias organizaciones Acabo de mencionar algunas, pero sobre, en, en, en un gran sentido, al difunto general Omar Torrijos. Cuando Panamá dio la pauta, cambió el apoyo de los países latinoamericanos de parte a, 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 a pro Guatemala a favor de Belice. Lamento mucho que no está físicamente con nosotros hoy, pero en espíritu sí está presente, porque nos antecedió en la vida eterna. One last question I think I'll try to ask for you. What are we going to do as an independent Belize? Well, the first thing we're going to try to strengthen our international position. We are applying for membership in the United Nations, in the Organization of American States, uh, the Commonwealth of Nations and the non-allied. That will improve the security arrangements, especially if we can get under the Rio Treaty. Then we are going to improve our relationships, bilateral arrangements and international, multinational arrangements in the economic field to obtain more funds to carry on the work we are doing because we believe we have reached a barrier with our self-governing constitution where to go any further we need an advanced constitution quizá una de las otras preguntas ¿qué va a, qué va a hacer Belice independiente al independizarse? primero vamos a mejorar nuestra situación de seguridad aplicamos por ser miembro en las Naciones Unidas, la Mancomunidad de Naciones, la Organización de Estados Americanos, el Movimiento de No, no Alineados. Y segundo, vamos a establecer relaciones bilaterales, relaciones económicas, financieras, bilaterales y multi, multi, multinacionales, laterales, para avanzar nuestro programa de De, 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 de desarrollo económico porque estamos muy convencidos que con esta constitución de autogobierno no podemos avanzar más hay que quebrar derrotar las barreras contra más desarrollo económico social, progreso social y la única manera de hacerlo es con una constitución avanzada de la independencia I turn it over I read the sign which uh, was uh, written on uh, independence today, liberation tomorrow. What would mean for you liberation tomorrow? Right. The independence, um, economic independence of Belize. We gain political independence on Monday, but the fight will still continue. To get, to get to obtain a larger measure of economic independence. That is the way I interpret that. Sorry. Mr. Prime Minister, I know it's the ITN London. You have an opposition in this country which does not want independence. There are people here who believe that with British withdrawal, the main economic assets of the country will go. You have a neighbor to your west who refuses to recognize you as your country. And in the east, you have a Cuba. Can you and your country really survive these pressures? Of course, we will survive. The British will remain here for a time. Uh, their economic program continues even more so with independence. We would like to settle the Anglo-Guatemalan dispute. We stand ready even now. We hold out the hand of friendship to continue the work of the Joint Commission, the Heads of Agreement. Uh, to the east of us, Cuba is a member of the Non-Aligned, the Presidency of the Non-Aligned, a member of the United Nations, a member 
uh, not active of the Organization of American States, a member of, of certain Caribbean communities, and of course we'll have to work along with Cuba since they are a member of these international organizations. But we are working along with other countries too. Yes, Mr. Spain. Belize es un país sí, caribeño y centroamericano y no es, es nuestro propósito de aplicar por uh, ser miembro, de ser admitido en estas organizaciones centroamericanas. Sí. La, esa parte de la defensa internacional es la responsabilidad del Reino Unido y el Reino Unido está organizando una, un arreglo internacional y está en proceso de formarse. No. ¿Con qué países? Yo entiendo que con la, los países de la mancomunidad. Well, I hope not. I believe the United States is big enough to have friendship with both countries, and I hope they will help us to do their part in helping us to solve the problem. Mr. Prime Minister, in addition to the concerns that you have regarding Guatemala and your neighbors, uh, there is, appears to be tremendous opposition right here at home. How do you begin to deal with the division here in Belize? The opposition has accepted the democratic process, and the democratic process means that the, the majority has its way and the minority its say. And with time, I think they will begin to accept that is the way we can, the only way we can govern a country. There can't be two governments. There has to be one government, one flag, one constitution. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister. You have a uh, fairly large part of your budget devoted to uh, importing energy. Very close in either wood, hydro, electricity, or biomass. Uh, but the immediate uh, relief would be to enter the program, the petroleum program of Veni Mexico and Venezuela for independent countries. I think over here somebody. Well, yeah. uh, Mr. Premier, uh, my name is Todd Nelson from the Mexican Association of Los Angeles. Yes. I'd like you to give a message to Belizeans living abroad and uh, independence. Well, they should not be afraid of independence, and independent Belize will have a stronger international position. We hope they'll work very hard there and remember us and come back home, because many of them are coming back home. Yes. ¿Cuál será el modelo político de desarrollo de Belice? Segunda pregunta y última, ¿qué espera Belice de los pueblos latinoamericanos, particularmente de los militares y los no militares? El modelo para desarrollar nuestra economía es la economía mixta. El sector público tiene que proveer la infra infraestructura y la iniciada privada, iniciativa privada, la, el parte industrial y nuestra base va a ser agroindustria. El, la política de Belice no es de respetar el derecho ajeno. No vamos a sudar calenturas ajenas. Conversando con el jefe de la oposición en Belice, el señor Teodoro Aranda, él manifestó que detrás del gobierno de Belice se encuentra la ideología izquierdista comunista. Frente a la acusación hecha por el jefe de la oposición en Belice, ¿cuál es su respuesta? La oposición no tiene la responsabilidad. Puede decir cualquier cosa. Nosotros tenemos un manifiesto de gobierno el de, de manifiesto del Nuevo y Progreso Revolución que allí dice que rechazamos el comunismo que nuestro, es, uh, nuestra, nuestro uh, partido es democrático y nuestra economía es mixta Next. Sí, 
Right. Yes, the, the lady gave way, Alice. Anyway. Yes, you're trying to get something in. Yes. Will you have a law on foreign investment? Just to finish the last question. Will you have a law? Will you adopt a code on a foreign investment? Our political Bible. The manifesto for the new and progressive uh, revolution, Belizean, says private capital is welcome. Private capital is welcome, but it must respect the laws of Belize, must register as a Belizean company, must work along with our, 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 our plans, our economic program, and must help us create wealth to share for the Belizean people. They will get their profits as well. Is your need for British military presence here as great as it is because US military support is so far out of the question because of their previous support for Guatemala? The premise of that question is not true. I don't think there's any more British uh, presence here than it has been for many years. But do you need British military presence because you can't get the United States? Well, up to now it has been the responsibility of the British to maintain a presence here. And they have done so and will remain after independence for a, an appropriate time. Would you expect the United States to help you militarily? We would like them. If there is a need. If there is a need, yes. I'm coming around to you. Yes. Very independent, because we respect each other. They are not to interfere with our internal matters. Yes. Next. El permiso no es correcto. No es. No hay más de siete mil aquí. Muy poco. Más de dos, dos mil. Menos de dos mil. Menos de dos mil. Sí. Pero es, es una inmigración que se está sintiendo en el país ¿no? y no hay ninguna, eh, ninguna respuesta del gobierno beliceño a, a la permanencia de ellos aquí. Pues hay aspectos de la humanidad, ¿no? Son, son huma, seres humanos. Y Belice hace lo posible de ayudar con uh, respaldo de las Naciones Unidas. Pero es una cantidad mínima, no es muy grande. Sí. Oh, yes. Our foreign policy is to respect the rights of others and to contribute our part in preserving and promoting the peace, the stability and the prosperity of the area. That is our foreign policy. And I wish it would be everyone's foreign policy. Para contestar, tratar la última pregunta, si sí, hay en estos momentos investigaciones buscando hidrocarburos y hay buenas indicaciones que hay yacimientos de petróleo en el subsuelo del diseño. La pregunta, uh, re, la, la, la respuesta a la, pregu la primera pregunta, sí siempre ha habido amenaza de Guatemala, pero oh, rezamos y queremos, deseamos que el pueblo de Guatemala respete los derechos de autodeterminación de los beliceños y aceptar nuestra oferta de amistad y cooperación económica con Guatemala. No, we wouldn't, unless they want to leave. You'd be happy to have them here yes. to continue training this country? Of course. Good. It's a good e economic input too. Okay. I must share with everybody. I'll try to get to everybody. Uh, Mexico has siempre ha sido un buen amigo nuestro. Mexico nos ayuda y Mexico, Mexico nos promete el gobierno de seguir ayudándonos. Primero, ayudarnos para entrar en las Naciones Unidas. Ojalá la semana que viene.
Muchas gracias, a México. We'll try to share it. Of yes. Oh, yes. Tell us what, if any, has been the contribution of the United States to the struggle for They have contributed. They have contributed, I think, by prevailing on the Guatemalans not to do anything that would affect us. There have been small programs of technical assistance. Uh, there has been the care, which has been very, very useful. There have been missionaries from the United States of America who have helped us to, in the educational and the pastoral field, which is all part of building a nation. And we must try to share it. Can you tell us how the government, that you believe, will react philosophically to the guerrilla movements in El Salvador and Guatemala? We are very sorry that there is a civil war in El Salvador. We hope that good will triumph over bad. Uh, we will contribute as best we can to the preservation and the promotion of peace in the area. But above all, we would like to continue a policy of non-intervention and the respect for the rights of others. After all, Belize is a very poor and a small country. We're not the big countries in the world. Do you, do you fear that the guerrilla movement could affect you in terms of any movements across your borders? How do we have to that? No, I don't fear that. I don't think so. You don't see the, the French-Mexican declaration on El Salvador uh, opposition movement and interference in that country's uh, internal matters. It's a difficult thing to say. Listening to the president of Mexico and Venezuela, of uh, France, it is no intervention. Listening to other people, it is intervention. I think the Salvadorians would have to decide that themselves. But you have a personal opinion, sir? No, I say I do not interfere in the foreign affairs of other countries, please. Thank you. I am not here to componer el mundo. I'm not here to fix the world. I'm here to contribute to peace here. Mano Alvinio Morales, Canal 6 de Costa Rica. Yo quisiera hacerle dos preguntas muy rápidas. Primero, ¿hasta cuándo va a permanecer los militares británicos felices? Y si usted no cree que la armonía centroamericanas se pueden romper a raíz de la declaración de Guatemala de no reconocer la independencia de Belice. Sí. El tiempo de permanencia depende de circunstancias futuras. No sabemos qué va a pasar dentro de los dos, tres, cuatro meses. Ahora la amenaza de Guatemala sí puede uh, contribuir a la ruptura de la paz en Centroamérica. Pero de parte de nosotros queremos evitar esa situación. Well, the opposition is irresponsible, can say anything. But if there's any indication of the will for independence, we must go to the recent elections. Less than two years ago, the national elections in November the 21st, 1979, and only recently last year, in December, what was it, December the, the, the 8th or so, in 1980, when it was, a, we said to them, vote for the People's United Party and we'll lead Belize to independence. And they voted. They gave us a majority. Yes, a mandate here. No entiendo la pregunta. Nuestro manifiesto para el gobierno tiene ese aspecto también. Sí, aceptamos inmigración y inmigrantes pero tiene que ser controlada la inmigración y balanceada, ¿no? Y también hay que, hay que tomar en cuenta otras circunstancias como el desempleo, uh, falta o necesidad de ciertas uh, cap capacidades de inmigrantes. Yes. I will try to share the Yes. Yeah, I will come to you as the lady, they are giving away to the ladies first. Yeah. You must see that it's mixing. There is like 7,000 Salvadorians in Belize and there is also mass Guatemalans. Does Belize run the risk of becoming a Spanish Republic in place of a Caribbean country? The premise is not correct. There are not that many Salvadorian refugees. There are less than 2,000. And it's under the United Nations. It is true, there is immigration going on for the cane, sugar cane industry, some from Mexico, some from Guatemala, and some 
from the Caribbean islands. We, there is always that possibility, but at the moment it doesn't arise because the numbers are not that much great. Okay, thank you. Now we must share. Yes. 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 Yes decolonization and I think they should be admired and I hope you say that in your paper. That's right. <laughs> I don't yes. Yes. There's uh, great reports of uh, large quantities of oil being found in Belize. What do you and how soon after the defense do you expect to explore these uh, petrochemicals? We hope that they would find uh, petroleum soon after independence. When that is done, we are going to follow the policy of Mexico. We are not going to export it all. We are going to keep some and we will try to concentrate agriculture and other parts of the economy so that it doesn't become oil like other countries. No, yes. Yes. How do you define the appropriate time you would like British troops to stay here? Do you want British troops to stay as long as there is no agreement with Guatemala? We would like them to stay until the need, this need for their presence disappears. Part of the, uh, that would depend on reaching an agreement with Guatemala, yes. But we are going to try very hard. This is one of the objectives after independence to try and reach a solution. Yes. 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 Sí, hay que respetar los ajenos, los derechos ajenos. Si los gibraltenos, gibral, 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 no quieren la independencia, bueno, qué bien. Si los maldiveños no quieren, pues depende de ellos. No, no voy a entrar como redentor y salir crucificado. ¿no? I wish I could answer that question. I'm not omniscient. I'm not omnipotent. You hear all kinds. One view says they will never invade. Another view says they might invade. Let us take no chances. We are glad the British have agreed to remain here for a time after independence. Yes. Of course, we'd like them to share. They're uh, the biggest country in the Western Hemisphere. We welcome their participation. Yes. Señor Price, ¿existe la posibilidad de que se forme alguna fuerza multinacional que proteja a Belice de Guatemala como se pensó en un momento? ¿O esa posibilidad ya está descartada por completo? No está descartada. Los ingleses están trabajando, organizando una red. ¿Cuáles serían los países que participarían presumiblemente en esta fuerza multinacional? En mi concepto, primeramente, la comunidad caribeña, Canadá, los Estados Unidos, México, los países amigos, ¿no? Yes, I'm trying to get to everybody. Yes. Uh, Mr. Price, yes. if there should in the future be serious uh, internal disorder in Belize for whatever reason, would there be any question of use of British troops stationed here to deal with that disorder? That we'll try to prevent. We are so organizing our security forces that a stitch in time should save nine. It's just a matter of governing correctly. Christ, yes. I wonder if you could address the question of devaluation. There's been a lot of rumors and theories about that. What do you think the future of the currency will be after it? I never thought of it. I had no fear of devaluation. Our dollar is secure. We have a good credit rating. And it's two dollars to the United States dollars. And I wish your pound, you, you British? You're British? American. American. I wish the pound would stabilize at about $2 to the U.S. That would be perfect. Yes. Huh? Yes. After uh, 32 years of the struggle, what uh, is tomorrow going to mean to you personally? Like any other day, get up and work, 5 o'clock. <laughs> and continue to work harder, answer all the telegrams, dictate letters, and get ready to continue your work. Yes. Like, uh, just the same. Like uh, any other belief? Just, just like any other belief. We all did it and we all must go back to work, yes.
la calentura ajena. No, como miembro de organizaciones, Belice apoyaría las decisiones de las organizaciones en una función internacional, pero no vamos a sudar la calentura ajena bilateralmente, ¿no? Pero dentro de lo que es Latinoamérica, existen países con problemas como el de Salvador, como el de Honduras, y el de Guatemala. Entonces, Belice no tomará una posición propia respecto a esas naciones de movimientos sociales. Tomará en una para multinacional, internacional, dentro de una organización. Ah, sí. ¿Cuál es la? la no, no, es, no, no, oí la pregunta. Está lista. ¿Qué es? ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuáles serían las principales dificultades a su juicio que va a afrontar la independencia de Belice desde el punto de vista económico y político? Una, y la segunda es si ya hay designado ministro de Defensa y de Relaciones Exteriores. ¿Qué más pide su Está decidido el uh, plan de quiénes van a ser los ministros, pero todavía no, no, no se anunció, ¿no? Pero ya está decidido. Ahora los uh, peligros o los problemas siempre es la amenaza de Guatemala. Hay que buscar una solución dentro de la Comisión Conjunta y también de mejorar, llevar adelante nuestro uh, plan económico de desarrollo contando como un país independiente con otro país independiente uh, relaciones económicas bilaterales it would be a supporting role of the British but they would be I think the principal one that is the way I conceive of it but the British would have to make the final decision because they're the ones here a very good relation because when uh, Belize was admitted as a member of CARICOM there is a clause there that Belize can also be a part of Central America and join the two regions together because CARICOM and Central, uh, and an America, uh, the Central American organization are sub-regions in a bigger region which is known as the Caribbean Basin Belize is ready for a heads up of government, yes. Mr. Price, uh, are you surprised at the international interest being shown in your independence as indicated by the size of this press conference? And do you think that means that there are many members of the international community concerned that your future is fragile with or without the British military presence? No, I didn't think that was the meaning of the coming here. I thought that as in the United Nations, 139 people had supported the independence of Belize, its interest and love for us, and you want to help us, that's why you come. Not that you expect something to happen and you come with your camera to, 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 uh, to film it. No, I didn't think that. I don't think that sort of way, no. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Price, how much control do you expect your government to have over the British forces here? How much do you expect the British government to protect? We have no control over the British forces. The Brigadier uh, General has the full control over the British forces here. I have no control have of it, no. But he won't interfere in our affairs either. The Belize government controls that. Yes. But can you tell us, sir, yes. what would happen if there was a Guatemalan incursion on your sovereign territory? What the scenario would then be? What kind of change of command would then work? Let us far be frank that it happened. Let us, but the British would be responsible. Did Their you command. Have power of veto, though, over their reaction? No, I have no veto. In that case, sir, are you an independent country? Pardon me? In that case, are you really an independent country? Yes, we are. Of course, we are. Uh, maybe I didn't understand your question. You're asking me if there should be an attack. Yes, yes. And I tell them don't defend it? No, what I'm, what I'm oh, saying is, must yes. they clear with you before they take any action, or could a British commander take action himself without uh, no. consultation? No, there would be consultation. <coughs> Out of courtesy, there would be, yes. Yes, thank you. And you like to tell me, Mr. Yeah, just with the red shirt. Mr. Price, what part will the influence of the United States in the new Belize? The first question. And the second question, what would be the position of Belize? 
frente a, a una elección imperialista contra el pueblo de Nicaragua? Bueno, dos preguntas. No puede contestar por los Estados Unidos. Él los tiene que que los estados mismos tienen que contestar por sí mismos. Tocante al segundo, sí, una agresión contra Nicaragua, una agresión contra cualquier país, sería contra nuestra política de promover y preservar la paz en la región. I consider myself a, a Belizean, and I consider myself going along in the Via Media and try to be friends of the, the mixed economy, the public and the private. Mr. President, over 300 years of colonization, if you were to address uh, an important person in English government, considering the past, the present and the future, in one single sentence, what would you say? I didn't get the first part. I only heard the British government and future and present. What, What would you say in one sentence to somebody from the British government, an English person, uh, after so many years of colonization in terms of the conditions in which the country is now and the prospect of the future? I would say the fight of, of, uh, against colonialism has ended and the British have done very honorable, honorably by carrying out the process of decolonization under the uh, obligations of the Charter of the United Nations. And for that we thank them. Question over here. Yes. Muy importante. La más importancia porque tienen, según los votos, aparte del veto, ellos tienen la mayoría en, los, uh, en las Naciones Unidas y han ayudado bastante a Venezuela. Look for money for some bridges. We have a good highway, but we haven't been able to put the bridges on. We want to put bridges. And if any nation said, how can you help Belize? Give us a bridge. And put the name of the, we have a Belkan bridge, a Canadian uh, Belize bridge. Give us a bridge and would help us to improve the road system. And the, second plan. and the second plan would see that everybody gets paid the end of this month. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and the, the third thing to do, that we balance our expenses for independence, see how we pay our way, and then the next thing, how we can carry on the work of government. <laughs> oh, many plans, water, housing, everything. But we have laid the solemn good work. We have a, a program of land reform. Practically everybody who wants land, farm land, can get land. We have problems of house lots in Belize City on account of the swamp land. We have carried out the democratic process where it's a democracy. And we have good social justice laws, income tax. We have to pay income tax too. And we always say the first duty of a good citizen is to pay his taxes. But I would want to restrict them. Let them ask. Yes, they have come all the way to us, so ask the questions. Yes. Depende a qué nivel. Hay unidad en el pueblo beliceño. Quizá no hay la unidad que deseamos en el liderato de la oposición. Pero sí siempre esta es la bandera de la revolución que en un gesto de armonía se incorporó las fajas rojas para mostrar el proceso democrático, el sistema de partidos juntándose en una bandera. Next. Okay. Then I'll come to you, lady. Yes. Señor Price, eh, Belice estaría dispuesta a sentarse en la mesa de negociaciones con Guatemala para llegar a un arreglo definitivo. Y si esto fuera así, ¿cuáles serían las posiciones, llamémosle así, que Belice estaría dispuesto a hacer a Guatemala para que esta reconociera la independencia y la soberanía? Sí. Estamos dispuestos a seguir el trabajo uh, sobre las bases de entendimiento. Uh, pero son, hay ciertos principios que no, no son negociables. El principio de la independencia, de la soberanía y de la integridad territorial. Pero aparte de eso, hay muchas posibilidades. Sí. 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 Sí.
surprised you said that you welcome help from the United States <laughs> building your defense forces. Would you also welcome help from Cuban military advisors? It would be difficult to, to, to welcome more than one because you already have the British and if you have the the, the United States and if you have the Cubans and if you have the Canadians and you have everybody else you're going to have a big trouble there so we better keep it to two. If you had no British military assistance who would you be likely to turn to first the United States or Cuba? We would turn to the CARICOM first and to the Commonwealth. That's what our Cuba first. offered you assistance? Would you accept it? It depends on the circumstances but I don't think that would ever happen. You don't think that Cuba would ever help you? Or you no, I don't think the circumstances would ever happen where we would need to go that far because we have uh, arrangements for defense. That Who's going to handle your external affairs after the event? We, we'll handle it, the government of Belize. Is there anybody specifically that wants to talk? Yes, but it's in here. It's not coming out yet. It's in Petro, as the Cardinals of Rome used to say, in Petro. It's in here yet. <laughs> we haven't given it out yet. Yes. 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 Uh, Mr. President, the, your comment on bridges uh, brings up a geographical problem that seems to be a problem. Yes. That uh, most of your arable land and the land that would be ideal for expanding population, which is happening here, uh, is in the western part of the country. Uh, does the government have any specific policy for uh, moving large uh, scale development in that direction? Well, not only in the west, the south and the west. Uh, there are one or two small. Um, what you call it, what you call this uh, growing of food, uh, production of food, uh, the food corporation where it would be merged with a immigration uh, and, and element. Most of that land is in, in private holding. Uh, how would that government policy, how do you uh, persuade the private landowners to participate in the kind of development? No, the land would be national lands. The lands to be the are national lands. Yes. Yeah. Yes, these are programs of the Caribbean community. Just make sure that many more. Yes. Five minutes more. Yes. En actualmente no hay en el plan de gobierno, pero sí hay inversiones en la en el campo campo de la inas, inas, iniciativa privada donde hay capital estadounidense estadounidense en Belice como la Hershey Hershey y un señor de Dublin uh, Atlanta acaba de comprar una compañía aquí. Um, y, y también de resinas. Sí, hay, hay cierta inversión aquí, pero no es muy grande. Sí. Yes. Oh, yes, a lot have been done, but you don't notice it. There are a lot of little hotels. And uh, we are about to start a, a nice hotel in Belmopan with, with uh, convention facilities. I feel, I feel that. Uh, Agriculture was possible in space, but what would happen? I mean, should not only go into large-scale tourism, not that free, what's the money to leave? No, not only U.S. money also? Yes. Given Belize and its resources, our plan calls for agro, the development of agriculture, the development of the resources, the development of the country, and tourism, six or seven places because we have resources here that perhaps other countries do not have and they have to sell the sunshine, or not sell, have to share with the visitors the sunshine and the sea. As far as investment is yes. concerned, do you have any politics, definite politics about from all except more investment, whether from the United States, from European countries, would you prefer to have investment from multinational corporations or would you have more state loans, or what is your politics on that? Well, no, no politics. We decide on each each proposal and make the decision in the best interest of the least. Now, try to get for somebody who has right. asked a question. Yes. Some have asked a question, and I just, yes, yes. Uh, for um, the regions living abroad, what provisions have you made for uh, council provision? And uh, <laughs> what provisions have you made for the regions that are living Oh, they can change, uh, exchange the British for Belizean at the nearest consulate. There will be a, a, what you call it, a transitional period until Belize sets up, sets up 
its consulates. In other words, we go to British consulate. That is my understanding in the meanwhile until we have our own consulate. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, I'd just like to follow up one of the earlier questions, which I didn't feel you answered entirely, which is uh, after so many hundreds of years of British colonialism, what sort of social and economic condition is Britain leaving Belize? One sees very few paved roads, one sees open sewers, one sees housing problems. I'm just wondering what your feeling is. What sort of state does Britain and the country do? Well, it's not as developed as we would like it. But I think we must be realists and we must accept that perhaps much more could have been done. But we ourselves have said much has been done, but much more has yet to be done. And we feel with a state of independence, we can do the much more that is yet to be done. Thank you.